Yeah. We'll start over here with, with Hertz Davis here. Any memories of Demolition Crush NWO Adams? Uh, a bunch, man. Uh, I got, I got pretty good friend be good, good friends with Brian and you know, they were, you know, they were chronic is what yep. their tag team. And I, I heard me and Lex wrestled those guys a lot. And, uh, but they were, you know, they're, they're somewhere in their music. It always said chronic or, and so I think that's how it out. started. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah. I remember I that. So, cause Luger always, every time they appear, he'd go, look out. It's chronic. <laughs> <laughs> so, but Brian was a great guy. And, uh, the, um, the first thing that always hits me when I think about Brian, um, crush is, uh, Birmingham, Alabama. Uh, you would, you could check into, to nitro or the thunder, whatever it was. And then you could go to the gym. Once you checked in, we had checked in and went to the gym and he was at this, you know, and only a few guys did that on nitro day or thunder day, but you would see the real serious guys on those kind of days. And Brian was a real serious trainer and, um, to be that big and look that good for that many years, you know, at Brian had 10 years on me and, and still looked incredible, you know? Um, so I was in the gym with him and he was doing 315 with an exercise that people don't even do anymore. And it was called behind the neck presses. And uh, I remember at my peak of strength when behind the neck press was like a bench press, everybody kind of gauged your strength on a behind the neck press. They were so bad for you that doctors and people finally, finally kind of just kind of went away in gyms, but I watched him do, I spotted him at 315 free weight, not on a Smith machine, free weight. He got 315 for six or seven reps. And wow. I, was just, I was just blown away. But Brian was a tall, big, great guy, strong, great, talented guy for, you know, most big guys. It's hard for them to be athletic. But, you know, Brian Clark was great also at Atom Bomb, you know, so. Both Absolutely, of those guys yeah. fantastic, and we love both of them and still do, except, you know, Crush had a bad thing happen that I heard was a little bit of a drug-related thing, but I never saw him do anything except work hard and, and was always in shape and was always the one of the nicest guys in the locker room. Yeah, I mean, he was he was phenomenal, and I, I remember even transitioning to you know WWF at the time. Um, but for those that are big Brian Adams fans, we actually have a video coming out with his son that we met in um, at Cauliflower Alley in Las Vegas about a month nice. ago. So yes, yes, and that was a great conversation. And he dives into a little bit of everything, uh, unfortunately, including you know finding his father. Um, you know, what turned out to be deceased. I mean, devastating story, but such a, um, such an awesome, uh, awesome kid. Um, I say kid, I mean, he's, he's, uh, I think late twenties now or yeah. mid twenties, yeah. but yeah, very, very cool to, uh, sit down and, and talk to him. And we just, uh, I just put the video out. Actually, I don't know if you saw it, Mark, um, okay. sitting down with, um, Harley's son, Justin as well. Oh, that was a good one too. That was, yeah, yeah. yeah. We we got to meet some. It was it was like the kids' day of um, you know, the kids of of legendary wrestlers that day. Sure, we, sure. I think we sat down with Justin first, and then uh, Brian's son, and um, yeah, great conversation. So stay tuned, guys, for that video. We'll have that out probably in the next week or so.